Hello everyone and welcome to another video here today we are going to be covering Sua uh, with superior on the character the rank 1 NA player currently and the iconic known player for his Sua we've got Amir with us today how are you doing today Amir? I am doing very good getting to watch the now 10k RP superior uh, is going to be a very nice time absolutely I mean, Superior has been iconic for his Sua for a very, very long time. I mean, watching this man 1v3 is a pretty common occurrence with this character. And recently, we just actually had just the recent passage patch that just happened. We actually had the new items come in, Eye of Horus. And I do believe that Superior actually has swapped off of his Cloudock Ring to be going into Eye of Horus now. So we'll most likely be seeing that as his arm piece of choice for this game yeah i think uh he was really loving the cladog ring because it gave him a uh, bonus healing it gave him amp it was just a really nice arm piece and it wasn't turbo expensive it was just a uh, a mithril but being able to substitute that out for a tree where he's now just getting a lot more damage and doing what his character wants to do anyways weave in a lot of auto attacks it uh it seems like a no-brainer no, exactly. And speaking of abilities, let's talk about Sua if you're not too familiar with how the character works. Starting with the passive, you have Bookworm. So after using a skill, Sua's next basic attack deals enhanced damage and heals her. Hitting an enemy reduces her basic skills and can stack up to three times with this passive. So the first skill, Odyssey, is a skill shot that collides at the center dealing damage, marking targets with Bookworm and will stun the target if they're hit with Odyssey while book Bookworm is on them. Secondly is W, which is Curious Case. Allies cast grants a shield that makes them CC immune, and if you cast it on an enemy, it blinds the target. Lastly is E, which is Don Gote... Don Gote? I'm sorry, probably uh -huh. butchered that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't practice that one. Uh, we have a dash, and if that hits the enemy, it actually knocks them up briefly. Lastly is her ultimate memory. She recasts her last spell used, giving an additional effects. So basically, very common to be using something like QQ or uh, EE or even WW in this. But the most bread and butter for Sua for combat oriented purposes would be using back to back Qs to go and get that stun and high damage output. Yeah, I know at least for a, a lot of Sua players, it is just default brain off sometimes and uh, throw out two Qs. If they both connect and you throw the E forward and you start wailing on someone. Um, I know Superior is a lot more methodical about which abilities he's throwing out when. And that is what separates him from a lot of the, uh, honestly, a lot of the other players in general where every ability thrown feels very um, purposeful. And there isn't really just an ability thrown because he's bored. So it's going to be a very nice thing to watch here. And I also know that uh, with uh, with his ease, he is very well known for just eing forward um, for fun <laughs> because he knows that he will win the fight. Just e forward, e again, maybe start smacking some people around, and uh, I think. We will hopefully see some of that this game. No, exactly. And I mean, talking about like you mentioned, there was Superior being very methodical with his buttons. It's so true. Like I mentioned, normally pressing your Q, uh, QR is a very common occurrence with Sua. It's her bread and butter for a lot of players. And Superior definitely does that. I mean, landing, landing Q into your ultimate copy or vice versa, landing that stun is a really great way to deal a ton of damage and also engage for your team. But I've also seen Superior use double E to juggle people up in the air with a knockup uh, or to gap close to get a lot closer. Uh, I've even seen him use his double W to be able to like CC immune himself and then his CC immune breaks and then someone tries to re-CC him. So he CC immunes himself a second time, making sure that that second ability that he was aware of was going to probably come as soon as he lost his first shield uh, is immediately stopped as well. Yeah, and it looks like we're actually going to be dodging out on this fight below us as we're going to go move over to the wolves. Um, 
but also yeah talking about his uh his w i know that it's uh <laughs> it's something that tilts a lot of players oh as we do actually see the um the horrors come out now um super early yeah. i mean I got, they did get the tree first and this is probably one of the best items for the fact that the character just weaves autos naturally mm -hmm. but uh see what w generally is uh an ADC killer where you throw that W out onto the ADC as long as you don't have to start dodging any um, or using it to CC immune yourself. And now they're blind. None of their auto attacks are connecting anymore. It's uh, just really nice for you, really sad for them. And we do actually see him slamming the elegant gown and finding the double Q onto the Bianca. Leon jumping over the wall, but sadly nothing can really happen as now Siwa just gets to wail on him smack him and uh keep resetting these abilities exactly and i mean it, it's it's just that easy right the second that you land that first one they get slowed and then you're able to just apply another one try and get that land that stun and superior is really good at leading this one of the things too is because there's a little bit of delay before it lands into the center which actually marks the target with the hit uh superior most times not only will try to like predict lead the shot so that you'll walk into it but he'll also do it in a sense to prevent your pathing. So if he knows you're trying to run a certain direction, he'll intentionally lead it so that if you keep walking in that direction, you'll get hit by it. And if you don't walk that direction, well, then you're walking back into most likely him or his team. Yeah, and we're actually going to see him having to duel what, in my opinion, is one of his uh, not worst matchups, but not as favorable, Kenneth. Um, we're going to see him blink out of the alt, though. Try and keep healing with his E and weaving in all of these auto attacks, giving him so much health, throwing these keys right on top of himself as he's versing two melees. The Duende coming out, not enough to actually deny Superior the ability to just keep smacking him, eating a few more of these drinks as I know he's not running Endorphin. But yeah, abilities now coming back up. Looks like his team has already won the other side of the fight. He's just 1v2ing off in the back, juggling them around, healing and picking up that mithril for i assume his myth boots yeah and, and i mean he really likes that defense yeah i mean plus i mean running double mithril here really really good defense plus if you notice there i mean superior just made sure that he he spaced out he dodged core abilities with his blink made sure that like the enemy team wasn't getting free hits on him he only let them trade hits when he was ready and he had his abilities up or his passives up to be able to take those trades which makes him look basically unkillable. When you don't miss abilities on Sua and you can just keep hitting people and you don't let them get a free hit on you, this character has probably the best sustain in the game. Yeah, a lot of players uh, are very mad about Sua thinking that she is one of the easier characters in the game. But when you watch Superior play, you realize that she can be doing a lot more than she's already doing. And some players games no 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 i think it's the other way around you watch superior and you wow this character is so easy and then you go to try and play <laughs> the character and you're like what the heck why am Wait i not second. 1v3ing <laughs> yeah when uh when you watch superior just never to actually be taking free abilities not taking free auto attacks anytime someone's hitting him he's returning with something um either throwing these cues or finding some way to pressure his opponent know it like if he throws his W on himself, then now they have to be scared. I can't throw out, throw out my CC. Or maybe now you feel forced to throw out your CC so that your teammate can land theirs. And he's just making sure that his opponent always feels worse off in a fight than himself. It's really nice. It's really nice to see. I think he's actually going to be slamming this meteorite into his, uh, into his weapon. Getting that heal cut. Very nice item of... Uh, Pretty sure it is the Evening Star. Um, yeah, I believe so. Another thing, too, that I really want to point out here is the efficiency of our resources in this game. So I know a lot of times, uh, I, wouldn't, I shouldn't say a lot of times, but when we normally watch a lot of these games, you'll, you'll end up noticing sometimes teams will get like some RNG and that'll help ramp them up in their speed and whatnot. Superior has not gotten a single RNG drop this build where he's almost full build has been from tree objective a buy a bz one and then this objective drop here which is all based on 
macro at this point, right? Not, not, all this is relatively attainable. It's not like he he got like a three bear drops that got him a four score or some crazy enhance. And it really just shows the efficiency that Superior kind of has when it comes to these games of keeping consistency and keeping making sure that he is going to be strong going into these later parts of the game where now that we're on day three, he's ready to basically brawl with any team that wants to try and contest them. Yeah, and speaking of macro, we actually had Superior kind of requesting buys using the uh, emotes, going Charlotte buy, and then uh, I forget which please. I think it's the uh, Vanya please. Um, just using emotes to communicate with this team, you know, never really having to open up the chat and just maximizing that emote wheel as well as his macro. Yeah, definitely. I mean, full build Sua, great character. Sua is one of those characters that I, I really, really commonly like to talk about being a stat check character. If she's got higher numbers than you, most times she's going to win the fight just for the simple fact that if you can't out damage her, she's just going to out stat you. So the fact that Superior uh, wants to get these items on him makes a lot of sense so that she, um, he can able to just basically take on any fight here. And Magnus doesn't really need the stats. I mean, he's got a chess piece. He's already going to be able to just do his job. We really just want to enable Sue as much as possible here. Yeah, and we're going to see instantly a knockup going back onto that Leon, blinking over the wall and just chasing after this Rozzy. I don't think she's going to be able to get away as, yeah, we're just auto-attacking, auto-attack. The, the amount of damage coming out from Eye of Horus, sadly, we can't reset that E again, but seeing that auto-attack and just 400, 500 of Rozzy's health disappears, this item, <laughs> it, it makes some characters look like they have, uh, they're in need of some nerfs right well, now. Well, it's 40% it's, it's in this game, but I believe there's a hotfix that just came out where it would have been 35%. But still, 35% of 800, I mean, I don't know if you're a quick math kind of guy, but that um, seems like a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage there. Um, I want to say that's somewhere around the 200 to 300 mark. Um, and that's 200 to 300, a pretty short cooldown as well. Um, not really having to worry too much about like weaving in specifically for this item. It just works on in the background as you're auto attacking anyways you're casting skills anyways it's it feels perfect for characters like this sua maybe like the abigail as we're going to be fighting as well yeah but like look at this e, damage just so much coming out that auto attack chunking abigail just throwing more abilities using that e we have another one coming out in two seconds but sadly, the uh, Isol is going to be able to escape as he is able to use that invis invisibility yeah. and uh, run away. This is a prime example, though, of what I mean by once Sue is enabled, she can be a very stat checky character. You can see in a lot of Superior's gameplay, once he's got his setup, right? Because that's important. You know, he needs to make sure that he's got his setup, like he's able to make sure that his abilities are going to, to land. But the second that he has that and he's got his stacks build up, he just blinks in. He tries to just get, he just tries to gap close and get as close as possible to the target. All he has to do at that point, once he's rolling, is get auto attacks off. If he can get auto attacks off and he can keep on top of his target, it's almost impossible to lose the fight. Yeah, and we see that coming out right now where he's just walking forward and making sure that he can get all of these auto attacks out. Sadly, our Priya is going to be falling on the floor to that last auto attack, but. He just ease forward after he sees his target, start wailing on them, auto attack, auto attack, reset your abilities, cast them again, keep throwing more auto attacks. And yeah, we're going to see the Rozzy gets double, st actually we get a double stun onto the back line, but then the Nikki tries to deny us. We're instantly throwing W onto ourselves. Deny the, <laughs> sorry, the, uh, I'm, I'm forgetting character names with the way that he's no, playing. Will... We're just seeing so much damage come out. So many abilities come out. Everything is nearly connecting, throwing another E forward, and then the way he throws these Qs, you're forced to walk into them, or you have to walk back into him, and then he's getting these auto attacks, resetting the Q, so no matter what, another Q is coming out, or you're eating that one. Yeah, oh my god, and, and look at we're that. We're seeing a stun right <laughs> after, just every time he's connecting these abilities, and the way he throws them, it's like you're forced into, into taking something. Exactly, and I mean, I think that's the most important thing, is that superior is really good at playing this neutral range which is probably where sue is at her weakest 
because everyone knows that once once you're deep in and you've got your your passive stacks and you're unga boonging you're you're kind of just you're for most players that play sua you can just kind of flail your your things at them <laughs> and, and it, it will work out but playing that before stage is where a lot of the skill comes in and i mean superior plays it to a t knowing exactly how to play that neutral knows where to be careful of what targets and then once he once he's established his his uh his win con he can go in he can enjoy the the unga boonga life that is just smacking people and i actually like the fact that um i don't think i very often see superior upgrade his weapon as i there isn't an actual hammer that gives you heal cut so I think unless his teammates have some way to uh, start giving heal cut, it's only smart for him to give up this blood. And I know he can test Wick a lot in his games. Um, it's just smart. Give up this blood to your teammate. Give them some sort of a power spike. He's already online. Make sure that we can make that. <laughs> make sure our entire team is uh, on equal-ish power level. And then we can just keep taking fights from here. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to watch more of Superior to say this for sure, but it almost feels like just from watching this one game that he really likes to get his own early tempo from his team and then, you know, help his team catch up in the in the mid game because he's so powerful. Yeah, and we just see at the beginning of this fight, he throws out two Qs instantly getting a stun off. And then after that, the fight just doesn't even feel fair. He's just walking up, auto attack. The second they try and do anything, he throws the E. And then they try and counter him. It throws the W on himself. You can't CC him anymore. The fight's just... When you're this aware of what Sua can do and you're you're paying attention to everything your opponents are doing, it honestly feels like Sua's a character with no counterplay. <laughs> because you walk up, you try and throw your counter button, Sua says no. You walk up and try and throw another one, Sua says no again. And then you're getting stunned, slowed, knocked up. But realistically it's just that superior knows everything that he wants to do and he's looking at what his opponents want to do counter what his opponents can do and then just play the fight from there well yeah exactly and i think that's i think that's what makes sua so strong right her kit allows so many different options and so many different playthroughs and most times though you're really you're really only seeing that decision making at that early stage of the fight right right before the fight starts at neutral or right as the fight starts where all that heavy decision making happens because everything's happening in a split second and superior is really good at identifying that and as soon as you have that moment that really just makes her so strong right blocking that dangerous spell you know it's blinding an adc so you can't hurt your team catching someone out with a double stun yeah and i feel like a big part of just understanding that uh that neutral game at the beginning of a fight is making sure that the first time that you look for an engage or the time that you're looking for that all-in engage is somewhat of a guaranteed engage because if you end up throwing your e forward and you don't have that alt to use e again mm -hmm. then you're kind of just walking back as sua and he doesn't have the most movement speed in the world so that's a lot of the time when she's taking the most damage or when she's unable to actually start connecting these auto attacks to be healing and resetting a lot of these abilities and we're actually going to be eating into the lightning strike, getting bonus movement speed, not something you see often. Using oh, that ult to get another Q, and now we're just right on top of our opponents, getting these auto attacks in. It doesn't matter what our opponents want to do. We're going to be resetting these abilities, and we deny the stun coming out from Nikki. Very unfortunate. I for don't them. even think this was a fair game. I don't. <laughs> I don't think Superior sweated during any fight. He kind of just steamrolled every single fight. I think the closest one was BZ, where he had to dodge a little bit in between his buttons when he had no items yet. But my gosh, that was an incredible display of if you're looking to learn how to play Sua, that is exactly the type of play style that you want to learn and develop. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.